Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Red Right Hand, starring Orlando Bloom as uh, a good old boy who is caught up in uh, low-level crime because that's all Hollywood ever thinks about when they think of Southerners. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 13. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited. It's free. All right. So Andy McDowell is the bad woman. And Orlando is trying to save... I guess it's his daughter or his niece. I'm not sure. Anyhow, um, he's in a bad way. Andy McDowell gives him an offer he can't refuse, and he has to go back to being a gangster. And then eventually he turns on Andy McDowell, and then I think he has to go after her organization too. And it's all about paying debts, and everybody's poor, and he's got a southern accent. Yeah, you can pretty much write the rest. <laughs> It just annoys me that every movie involving Southerners, first off, usually don't star Southerners. It's usually, you know, an actor doing an accent. I, I, I notice nobody complains about that. You know, you complain about various people. Oh, like, well, that's not really a person who's that kind of person. Like, Orlando Bloom is not a Southerner. But whatever. February 23rd, on theaters and digital, I don't know why you'd go to the theaters at knowing that, but there you go. Let's see who wrote this thing. If I can read the, God, why is it? Are you trying to hide the credits? Written by uh, Jonathan Wee Easley, directed by Esham Nelms and Ian Nelms, the Nelms brothers, uh, doing a movie together. Well, that's nice, keeping it in the family. Um, it looks fine. Andy McDowell, haven't seen her in a while. Weird weird makeup she's got going on. But I think she's trying to look a little more evil than normal. So that kind of works. Orlando Bloom's just a good old boy trying to get by. Teaching his uh, daughter or his niece how to shoot. And then, of course, that'll probably come up later in the movie. So first act, uh, Orlando Bloom's had some trouble teaching his daughter or niece to shoot. Now he's just trying to live his life, but uh, there's trouble on the horizon. And Andy McDowell won't let it go, and he's got to pay off some debt, or they're going to lose the farm, or the house, or the house farm, or whatever. So second act, uh, he starts working for her again. He talks to his good old boy cop friend, who of course is in on it, because again, southern tropes. Um, and then uh, he does some work for her, maybe shooting some bad guys, I don't know, doing some enforcer-type work. But eventually he can never pay off the debt, and he turns the tables on Annie McDowell. And he goes after her with a vengeance. Because maybe she kills someone he knows, or maybe he's just had enough of her BS. So he gathers his friends, and now he turns after her. And in the end... Uh, Probably wins, I'm guessing. If he doesn't die at the end of the movie. I don't think he does. Maybe he has to save his niece or daughter from the bad guys at the end. So it looks okay. I would see this movie. I don't know if I'd go to the theaters for it. Andy McDowell is good. Orlando Bloom is good. I just wish, um, you know, for once, somebody would write a movie about Southerners that really challenged your preconceptions of Southern life as opposed to just throwing in all the tropes. Which is what this feels like. Now maybe it's based on a book. I don't know. It's got a lot of detail to it so it might be. But um, I'll say this. Orlando Bloom's accent sounds pretty authentic. So there's that. He, he looks the part. He sounds the part. He's a good actor. Bulked up a little bit. Doesn't look like Legolas in this. Uh, let's see. Do we have a write-up? No. No. But I would. I guess I would see this on streaming. I probably wouldn't go to the movies for it. It's a little too old school to go to the movies for these days. I mean, back in the day, 
maybe a movie like this, but maybe if it got a lot of ton of good reviews. Um, but it seems fine. Seems fine. Seems like it'll be functional. Functional. Um, again, I don't think it's going to challenge any preconceived notions of what it's like to be a Southerner or a good old boy, but yeah, in the end, I think Orlando Bloom wins. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. I'm trying not to sneeze. Uh, if you can find a more base take, I say take it, but definitely check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble because who the hell knows? I don't know if people are being unsubscribed from my channel or what. It's so weird, the algorithm, right? So in some days, I get a good video. People start watching it. I'm starting to get hits. And then I lose subscribers. And then the complete opposite happens. On the days that I don't seem to gain and very good hits, I gain subscribers. Why does that happen? doesn't make any sense to me but that's the algorithm here over at the other channels I have kind of steady growth I mean uh, rumble has turned out to be my second uh, home away from home that is approaching 500 subscribers so that's that's pretty good for me so thanks for tuning in we'll see you